The legal aspects contained in this video only apply to countries that have laws allowing you to record government officials working in the public. Please consult your own national laws before attempting any legal advice given in this video. One thing for me, I hope you're ashamed of yourself. You should be. It's 70 degrees out, you have bunny boots on. So you're an activist who films government officials in public and posts those videos on YouTube. After one of the videos of a certain government official gains some traction, you receive a notice from YouTube that you have violated someone's privacy in that video. What are you going to do? How can you resolve this without having your video being taken down? Now when it comes to YouTube and privacy complaints, these are one of the hardest strikes to overcome. And when it comes to privacy complaints, YouTube doesn't care if your video footage is shot in public, they are allowed to have stricter rules when it comes to people's privacy. Some government officials know this and will try to abuse the system to take down videos they don't like of them. Step 1. Who's in the video? The first thing you need to do is check your notification for a timestamp of the offending moment. You need to answer the question first. Is there one person in the frame of the scene? Or are there other people in the scene? Are all these people in the scene government officials? Or are any of them random people? If you have more than one person in the scene and they are just random bystanders, you'll need to send an email back to YouTube requesting who is the individual needing to be blurred out, because there is multiple people in the scene. Step 2. Back up the video. The next thing you'll want to do is download a backup copy of the video if you don't have the original video backed up somewhere already. There is a chance the video could go down and you'll want to keep a chance to mirror the video somewhere else if it does go down. Step 3. Call the subject. Now this step should be taken if you're waiting for a response back from YouTube about who needs to be blurred. You'll want to contact either the government official or their agency about why you have a privacy complaint pushed against your video. You'll want to document this through an audio recording device where you're legally allowed to. Calling and questioning the agency or subject and asking if it was them that filed the complaint and if they have an answer to why it was filed will double as a message stating that you will not take kindly to this attempt at censorship. Step 4. Counter the claim. This should be done quickly because there is a very short time you can do this in. YouTube will deny privacy complaints based on public interest and newsworthiness. Since your video is of a government official, it should be easy to write a counter to this claim on the grounds that your video is for public interest in keeping your government officials accountable to the people, and if an important event happened in the video, the reason of its newsworthiness. Also referring to local laws that state the filming is legal will help back up your legitimacy, but may not be a deciding factor for the reviewing YouTube agents. Step 5. Make a video. After you have sent out a counterclaim and called your subject, you'll want to make a video telling your followers on your channel about what is going on. The video should contain a screen of the letter and clip of the supposed violating scene. If you are able to record your call to the subject legally about the incident, this should be included in the video. If you confirm it was the subject that posted the complaint, or they didn't have an answer, then post the subject's contact information so your followers can call in and ask the question also. This will help apply pressure to show that the people will not stand for this kind of censorship. This last step will be your most powerful tool, because shedding light on the situation may actually fix the issue. I have used this step once on this channel to counter a privacy complaint, and to resolve an issue on someone else's channel when their AdSense account was disabled. Often when making a video about a simple problem such as system abuses that can be easily fixed, I find YouTube will quietly resolve these situations after exposure. Step 6. Extra steps to help protect yourself. These following tips can help protect you should you encounter this privacy complaint situation. MCNs or multi-channel networks will give you an additional avenue to fight your privacy complaint but at a cost. Often you'll need to take extra steps to have your channel to be allowed in and will require you to have your channel to be monetized if it isn't already. Usually the MCNs will give you a 60-40 split with you getting most. Also you must be careful on which MCN you pick to back you up as a lot of them will sign you on and if your channel is small will ignore you for the most part.
I'm just lucky I got an MCN on the first try that works with my channel very well on these issues. Mirror your account on another platform is a great backup plan and one that should be done. There is always a chance that you can be hit hard with privacy complaints or other abuses of the YouTube system that can take down multiple videos and possibly your entire channel, which is what happened to Daniel Solomon's channel and he had to move what he could over to the Tom Zebra channel. If you mirror your videos on another platform like LiveLeak, you'll have a backup video in the cloud to fall back on. Often less mainstream video platforms like LiveLeak will have less stringent privacy rules when it comes to activist videos and allows you a chance to grow a larger support crowd for your work. Keep in mind there is no foolproof method to defend yourself with this and these are steps I have developed to defend myself from experience of running multiple YouTube channels. I made this video to help other activists out there no matter what they support and if you know a fellow activist who is going through this kind of problem make sure to share this video with them and to spread the word to show the world that we won't stand for this kind of censorship. And before I leave off I want to give a special thanks to Jeff Gray of Honor Your Oath who indirectly helped me make this video by giving me information on what happened when a few of his videos were taken down by privacy complaints. Though his videos were removed, I will make sure that their deletions were not in vain. It's David Verner, and guess what? I got this email in my inbox a couple days ago. I noticed it last night when I was checking the inbox, and it is a privacy complaint done by possibly one or both TSA agents. Oh, sir? Yes. It, according to your business license, you're an entertainer and not a news journalist. U.S. Attorney's Office just let me know that you are not a news journalist and you are an entertainer. So again, I'm going to have to ask you. Yeah. Okay, no, specifically, 